everyone, Reese from RJC Models here, and I'm back at you with part two of the British Army Saladin, the armoured car. Uh, this is a dragon kit, a black label dragon kit in 35th scale. So last time we left off was we have just finished the hull and all of the engine mount covers. So that's where we got to last time. So we got all the engine covers done and the bottom of the, or the, the hull done. Um, in this episode what you'll see is you'll see the um, suspension going together and from there onwards uh, in the build. So I shall move the cameras around and do some fiddling and so you can see the bench and then we'll get on with part two. Okay so if you're following the build along with this one where we're starting now is at instruction step number five and that is put in the suspension arms and all that sort of stuff together so the lower hull which is just under here so what I will do is I'll show you how I do one part of the suspension and then I'll go away finish the suspension and then I'll go and move on to part number six okay. okay so some of the parts you can see just here are the startings of the suspension to do the these two wheels and these two bits of suspension so what I'll do is I'll show you to do these two and what I've got down here in the parts corner and then I'll go off and finish the rest of it because it's all very much the same once I've shown you this part it's all very similar so what it's asking me to do first is to take this part which is that I gather it to some suspension springs and oh, sorry even, even that part <laughs> get it right Reese. Um, which are, as I say, I guess, I think says some, some suspension parts, and pop that onto there, like that. So that sits in these little grooves, and if you guys can see that very well, but just here are some little grooves. So this part will sit into there, and one of these parts, which I assume is a wishbone, will sit in there. So that will sit in there, like. Let's get it the right way up first. Yep, that way. Um, that will pop itself in there a little bit like that. There we go. So that will pop in there like that. Uh, I believe. Yep, so that pops on there like that. Just going to run some glue along this edge just here and just under there. I'm going to run some glue. Actually, what I might do is just do this first. Do it this way. So I'll pre glue it. So I'll pop some glue into those little notches. And the good thing is with the Tamiya glue is that it is slow set. Well, it's, it's fairly quick drying, but you can still gives you enough time to play around with it if need be. So I'm just going to pop that onto there. A little bit like that. That should sit in there like that. There we go. Oops. There we go. That's a nice reassuring click. So that sits in there like that. And then what I'll do is I'll come along and pop the wishbone in. But it looks like the wishbone, which is this little part just here, doesn't actually glue in. So it's calling me to pop that into there a little bit like that and that just sits in there and then the next bit along is this what I can only imagine is like a compression um, like a compression spring or something um, that actually sits in here so this part sits on there and that part sits like that, so it sits in there a little bit like that. Whoops, it's like a tie rod or something like that. So that will sit in there. What I'm going to do, so just in there, clues from there to there, and it sits in this little gap there. So a little bit like this, Let's pop a little bit of glue in there. A little bit of glue in there, and then this part sits. Oops, he says, trying to be careful. This part sits in there. 
like that. Oops, like that. There we go. So, as I said, I can imagine this is some sort of tensioner or um, something like that to go between the, the different wheels because we've got another one of these that sits from there to there, and it obviously again the same on this side. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go away and sort all of this out and sort all these three bits and pieces out, or these six bits and pieces out, and then I'll come back and be with you when it's finished. So as you can see there, quite a lot been done off of camera, but there were some very, very fiddly bits. Um, these bits and pieces in here were quite fiddly, and the same, there's a little bit just under there, just here as you can see, um, this bit just there, um, and this big long tie bar. Wasn't so bad, but I thought I'd get it done. I'd do at one side and leave a bit for you guys to show you guys. So, what I'm going to do is I'll show you the putting that that little bit of I assume this is some sort of um, support for the the drive shaft. I guess this is just there. Um, so I'll put the pop this all together. So, firstly, I'm going to do this little bit just here, which is uh, some sort of support onto there. Fairly straightforward. So that goes onto there like that. No, oh, that's coming to camera. And then we just pop that on. Oh, sorry guys, you guys can't see. Um, there we go. So we just pop there on there. A little bit like that. Okay. Then this long bar goes into this little hole. So what I'll do is I'll pop that on there. A little bit like that. Okay. And then this goes in there at a slight angle, like so. If it can go on there, oops. So it is a little bit fiddly trying to get it in there. Actually, I think I need to take a little bit more off of there just to get it to sit in. So let's just take that little bit off like that. Again, get it in focus so you guys can see. Cut that bit off there, and then bring this part back, and just pop it on there. Whoops! A little bit like that. He says, hoping it sticks. What I'm going to do is put a bit more glue on there. Whoops! Just put some. Might just over glue this a little bit, just so it sticks a bit better. So that is a bit overkill with the glue I've just put on there, so a bit just, just to get it to stick, it's been a bit awkward. Like that. Okay. And then what I'll show you is building the wishbone and the drive bits, which is just these bits right here, which is what the wheel attaches to. So as you can see, I've already got a bit on there, which is just coming off there we go so as I said I've already got one bit of wishbone in there already so I'm gonna, it does call in the instructions not to glue it but I am going to glue it just because um, they do keep falling off and they're a bit a bit fiddly to deal with so firstly what I'm going to do is pop this on there this is what the wheel attaches to and that just sits in there a little bit like this Bit of glue in there, and a bit of glue in there, and then that just sits in there like that. And then what I'm going to do is come along and put the bottom wishbone in there a little bit like that. There we go. Oops. Get it all nice and lined up. Pop that in there, and pop that in there like that. So there we go. So that's the bottom part of the Saladin all done now. So this is all the um, drive trains, drive sprockets, that sort of stuff, uh, suspension arms, that sort of thing. And they're just a little bit like that, looking very nice. So you can see here, we've got a nice, nasty glue mark. But what I'll do is I'll show you how to get rid of that before we start painting. Um, but yeah, that's the Saladin pretty much ready. The bottom's just pretty much ready there. Um, obviously, we have got a few more details to go in into these parts just there 
on the, on the back end there. But that is this episode of the Saladin all done. As you can see, it's looking very nice. There we go. Thank you guys for joining me this time, and I hope you uh, stay tuned for the next part, which is when we'll be doing the wheels and from part, from instruction part eight. So as you can see there, it'll be the wheels all going on. So thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you next time. Um, if you do have any questions, pop over to Facebook, which is RJC Models Official on Facebook. We do have an Instagram, again, same name, RJC Models Official. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.